Are you ready to rage? Then let's rage! This routine is simple. You can even do it when you've lost yourself to the bloodlust. Every time you complete an objective on the map, alternate between 10 push-ups and 10 traversal sit-ups. After you've upgraded yourself with some nanites, go ahead and increase the number of reps for every exercise. If you ain't pushing yourself, you're gonna get pushed over. And that's it. Though if you want to spice things up and keep that blood flowing, I mean pumping, here are some additional exercises to throw into the mixie pie. Every time you die, do five jumping burpees. I dare you to throw that difficulty onto Nightmare and then drive straight over to the harder level areas. Every time you're prompted to hold X or use nanites to open something, sit up from your chair and sit back down. If you're standing, do a squat. Whenever you are shopping or in a menu or listening to exposition, stand up and hold a calf raise. If you're standing up, just hold a calf raise. That sums up the whole routine. Time for some rapid fire tips. Stretch and warm up your body before physical activity. Stand up to burn more calories. You get used to it and you like it eventually. Clear space around your play area. Have a towel and water readily available. If it's not hard enough, do more. If it's too hard, do less. Side effects of working out while playing video games are common and include increased energy, happiness, unsadness, awesomeness, lack of loneliness, increase in willing sexual partners, chest hair gains, more farts, more masculine hands, epic thoughts about yourself and the world around you, love, double love, triple chocolate chip cookies, and love for peanut butter, peanut butter sandwiches, peanut butter cookies, peanut butter protein, peanut butter milkshakes. Don't consult your doctor. If you start rubbing peanut butter over yourself, consult me. Now stop watching in rage!